Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The committee substitute makes changes to align with federal guidelines and allow for at least one caregiver per resident. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I move adoption of House Committee Substitute for Senate Bill 100. Clerk, please report. House, House Committee, Committee Substitute, Substitute 1 to Senate Bill 100. Motion is for the adoption of House Committee Substitute 1. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, those in favor signify by voting aye. aye. Those opposed, nay. House Committee Substitute 1 is adopted. Gentleman Taylor. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, during the two, 2021 special session, Senate Bill 2 included provisions for permitting essential caregivers visitation in long-term care facilities and residential long-term care facilities. These provisions are set to expire on January 31st. Senate Bill 100 is modeled after measures passed during the 2021 regular session and the 2021 special session. It codifies provisions that allow visitation in state-run mental facilities in addition to long-term care facilities and residential long-term care facilities. I want to clarify that this is permissive language. This bill provides a strong infrastructure that allows families to be the critical care partners that they are. It maintains a role of a personal caregiver and their important role in the mental physical and spiritual social well-being of the resident. Mr. Speaker, I move passage of Senate Bill 100 as amended as House Committee substitute. 